Hey guys, Michael here, and welcome to this VLC tutorial, an updated one. Now, a few things I do want to point out real quick is that, uh, one, this entire thing is going to be for the 64-bit VLC. I'll show you how to download that, and the reason why is because almost during the entire testing of making sure this thing works, the 32-bit always seems to crash or at least not work most of the time. So I'm recommending people to do 64-bit because that's the least likely to not fail on you and it definitely won't crash. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we wanna do is open up a browser, which I have open already. Search VLC, VLC for Windows. You click this little arrow right here and click installer for 64-bit version and I'll come back when the download is done all right and we're back and it is downloaded for so let's go ahead and run it from the browser click yes let the thing go ahead and unload next now for me, I already have the latest installed, but for some, it may ask you if you want to um, upgrade with your settings. You can do whatever you want, but you can go ahead and just have it upgrade and click next. Next. And the thing is done installing, so we don't need to run this, at least not yet. So let's go ahead and click finish. And let's go ahead and do what I did on the first one and go to the site. I'll have the link in the description below. And let's go ahead and get the new key database. So let's go ahead and download. Keep, and that thing is installed. So open up a file browser. And let's go ahead and do Control X or Control Cut or Copy if you want. And go to the C drive, Program Data, and let's add a new folder called AACS. Go ahead and enter it. And let's go ahead and paste our GUI database here. Next, we want to download the AACS dynamic library. Now we want to download this one. Not this one. We want to download this one. The one that says VLC 64 bit on Windows. Let's go ahead and download. And let's go ahead and on our file browser, go back to to downloads, copy or cut, whatever you would like to do. And let's go ahead and go to C, program files. Nice. Not x86 because program files is true 64-bit programs. This one is for 32-bit program files. Go down and go to Video LAN, VLC, and go ahead, right click, and paste. Click Continue if you have that. And let's go ahead and open it up and run it. Now I have the Lion King loaded in here. And let's see if it will load. I can hear my browser, and it looks like we are able to play it. And looks like it's pre-catching. And we're going to go ahead and stop right here because of various copyright reasons. And we know it works. So let's go ahead and continue to the second way we can do this. And this one I think is actually a lot simpler, simpler to use. Again, I'll have uh, this in, in a link in the description below. Now what we want is we want to download either this one or this one if you like. If you download the VLC 2X with AACS, it will just download a zip. It will just download a zip file for us to download. And if you're wondering what BD Plus is, pretty much all that is is that it will be able to uh, bypass the encryption of BD plus 
but sometimes this doesn't work and as of right now for 32-bit it does not work whatsoever so we're going to go ahead and download just the AACS updater the 64-bit and we're going to do full now despite the name it is the AACS updater go ahead and let it download and I'll skip to when this is over alright so it is downloaded so let's go ahead and run it click yes and what this will do is make sure that this is actually in the right location so go ahead and get rid of this this is the file location of the VLC Z executable go ahead and click install and click finish to run the updater and what this will do is each time you run this program any AACS keys if there's anything new it will automatically update and this will automatically create it will automatically create the configuration files this is very easy to do so let's go ahead and go back to our executable make sure it works and again, we'll load uh, Lion King again. Seems to be working. And it is. All right. So that is it for this tutorial. And you can, I'll have this up here just for you guys to try out if you like, but I don't recommend it because it does not work. So, that is it for this tutorial. If you guys like this, like, give us a like and subscribe. Also, in the matter of this tutorial, I am very much aware that most videos or movies, I'm sorry, don't work with this method and I am very much aware of this so in the link in the link in the description below there's gonna be a Excel sheet that everyone can add that everyone can add of movies that does not work with this method this is gonna be easy for anyone that wants to try this only wants to try this and make sure that they'll know that this will work so, if you want more information, go go ahead and click that link to the Excel sheet. And with that in mind, that is it for this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time.